What is up guys, Maxmov here. Welcome back to episode 2 of La Costa in City Skylines. This is my Southern California inspired build and it's really taking off honestly. Uh, right off the bat there, I was just testing out some new mods and some different building techniques to hopefully use as we move on. Uh, another thing, as you can see right now, I'm trying to work on the texture and make the transition between grasses and beach better. I'm also re uh, removing a lot of the uh, the sprites and weird sand texture that just appears around buildings. Uh, also, those little houses, the bane of my existence, trying to get rid of them and just uh, just work on it as we continue. I'm also looking for more buildings to implement because uh, I want some variety and especially with Rico we have the possibility of doing a lot. Now in today's video uh, you can kind of see what's going on uh, but we're going to be working on building a cemetery and funeral home uh, slash crematorium, a whole complex for that. Uh, also, I built a really cool motel that I'm really proud of. I actually did it off camera, but I showed it off a little bit and you can see it in cinematics. Uh, we're expanding one of the neighborhoods and we're also building a giant apartment complex that I'm really proud of. I absolutely love it. Uh, more of that in this episode, so stay tuned. I'm still not 100% happy with the sort of shopping center here, this tiny commercial district. I think things are too spread out. I want to work on that in a bit. Um, but using the, the terrain editor to try to slope this and make it a lot better because initially the idea is to have um, those roads be coastal. And so that's something I really want to do, uh, especially near the, the school there, the little elementary school. We do need to put a high school and a college in eventually. As you can see, I'm still trying to learn some of the, the techniques, and sometimes it goes wrong. Speaking of going wrong, uh, I th my game must have updated or something, so all of my settings were reset to default, as well as, as you can see, the trees on the road. Uh, in the first episode, we put palm trees in, but for some reason, they're back to the small oak trees, so I end up fixing that. Kind of annoying, and sometimes the game does its own thing. Another thing, making tight turns like that with the preschool fence, it is super hard to do, and it's something that we just need to work on. Another thing, I'm using the Find It tool to place in some of these houses. I believe these are from American Eclectic. They look really cool, they totally fit the, the vibe and the feel of what I'm going for. And as I said earlier, just trying to edit the, the ground texture to make it look a lot better. Um, I actually have two different recordings set into this video, um, so right now I have, um, or I don't have some of the mods that I put in later on, and you'll see once the recordings switch over. And that's something that I, I really like um, with with some of the new mods, and I'll explain once we get there. But I'm experimenting with some of the ploppable grass by Ronix, and so putting some of that in there to see also trying to hide that weird cliff edge with some bushes and I really want to use more foliage wow foliage foliage that's the word I'm looking for really want to use some more of that uh, and you'll see that with the apartment build that I'm just really excited to use some of that anyway right now looking at some more real estate here uh, because we're going to sort of build a, a neighborhood there also just looking around to see what I can do uh, right now is when I sort of noticed the roads because it took me a little while um, like what what's going on there uh, so kind of annoying I have to update the roads to something different and then change them back but as you can see we got the palms going in and it looks really good I'm totally a fan of it um, and I do like the mix between having some um, like some palm trees and tropical plants and then having some uh, like conifers and evergreens and stuff like that. I think it looks pretty good. And it does bring it to life because so in Southern California, the area that I'm basing it off of, there really is a mix and it kind of does change the farther inland you get. Um, but in the more built up and residential areas, you see a mix because people have what they want. Uh, again, using find it to place in some of these larger vias or villas, how it, I, I don't know, I'm, you know, I don't know. 
Uh, so adding the utilities as usual to this neighborhood, it's going to be pretty expansive because for some reason, uh, the like the need for residency is through the roof. So kind of building out a uh, a more higher end area of the neighborhood, uh, and then we I just kind of zone in some other stuff anyway. I'm continuing around the, the little cove here because I, I really think it's cool. Uh, I'm gonna start districting to to name stuff, just calling it Coastal Springs for now. Putting in some uh, traffic restrictions, which will hopefully help. And honestly, I'm, then again, we have a, a very small population, um, but traffic's not a big issue yet. Again, plopping in some houses, I'm trying to get more control over what's going on. And just kind of expanding it, as you can see, the demand went down a little bit, we still need some commercial, but... It does go up for some... I, I really don't know why. Uh, using the prop line tool to add in some fencing, because uh, that's something that at least American uh, neighborhoods have is a big delineation between the borders of the neighborhoods. Uh, I didn't put them between households and residencies yet. I want to do that soon, I just didn't do it. So probably in episode 3 we will take a look at that. Uh, using the concrete place to just try to build out some more of the sidewalk and you know really really trying to give it some life and give it that American feel the sort of suburban feel right now I'm working on the uh, the cemetery even though we do have a crematorium in the city I believe uh, for some reason there's a massive health problem and I'm just toying around with roads because I, I want to find something that feels right and I, I don't actually want to build a whole lot around here, um, at least what I'm used to, a lot of the the funeral homes and like cemeteries are kind of off on their own. They take up a lot of uh, like size and real estate, and so I'm putting in a, a stock cemetery, and I believe it's from a workshop, this really cool um, mini cemetery and crematorium complex which will be able to handle larger amounts of people. Kind of a sad thing to say, but in the city, I don't know if it was lack of health or it just was a, a common occurrence. We had a whole lot of death that happened really quickly and our current system couldn't keep up with it. But right now, I'm trying to work on a little planter. Um, and as I said in the first episode, this is going, going to be a fairly detailed city. I want to take my time with things. So I'm working on this planter box here because uh, I, I feel that a lot of this sand just doesn't feel right, so I'm hiding it with Ronix's ploppable grass and putting in some planters. This is an old trick that I learned from $2.20 to hide the edges, sort of put in these planters, um, and I end up using different ones, as you can see, switching here, because these borders, when you move them in between each other, they actually delete. Or not delete, but you can't really see the edges, so you're able to create much better shapes. And using a combination of prop anarchy, find it, and move it, you're able to do some pretty cool things with the planners. And that's that's something that I really like, and I think turns out pretty well. At the end, it ends up looking pretty good. Only issue is when you zoom out, it gets a little buggy and you can see the textures inside of each other. But up close, I think it looks really good. Still working on this complex here. Um, can't really decide what I want to do in terms of the road. I am going to build a little roundabout here as you can see. Had some issues with it initially getting the shape right, uh, and then actually with clipping through the building, but using that little cross technique, um, but as you can see we're having issues with the building just kind of in the way. So I'm using move it to drag the, uh, the intersections around which is something that works pretty well. For some reason, still not working. As you can see, there we go, finally got it in. And I want to do a little fountain uh, in here, something that just, you know, kind of looks peaceful and nice. Uh, trying to figure out what I want to texture it with inside. I end up switching out the roads to the little alleyway with the curb, because I think it looks a little better. That way you can have people walking on the sidewalks. And using the pedestrian footpaths to sort of add some coloration in there, uh, I thought about putting in a event spawner, but decided not to, because another thing that's just realistic is a lot of times it's really expansive grounds and there's a lot of detail put in, 
but there's never really a lot of people. It's usually you're there for your service and you're there to uh, sort of spend time and and think about the 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 lost. And but there's there's not really huge crowds, so I figured that whatever ambient people and pedestrians the game puts in would probably be fine. Looking in, uh, find it just for some more details and stuff. Um, and as I said, I wanted the road to kind of just expand around and do its own thing. Um, I wanted it to be off on its own. I won't put a fence in for now, but I think just the distance to separate itself is pretty good. Uh, and I'm using... oh, I can't even remember what it is. Um, it's some form of building anarchy, but not the actual building anarchy mod to, to move. Uh, disable zo zone check, that's what it's called. Disable zone check, um, which allows you to place... Uh, things wherever you are and you can see now the sheer amount of hearses that are leaving there to take care of the people in the city because <laughs> apparently it was an issue adding in a little dirt lane there to make it a bit more realistic since the hearses were driving on the grass putting in some palm trees as well to make it more of a gateway and just trying to make it look nice because there's so much put into there for some reason those buildings that I spawned in went away and I was also having some issues with the Rico mod. I'm having things that aren't residential houses going in uh, the low residential area, but I'm trying to take a look through settings and figure out what I'm going to do. Looking for some special buildings as well, maybe some stuff to put in there. I do need to put more parks in because, you know, that's a thing that neighborhoods have. So, just a little work. Still trying to decide what I want to do, taking out the fence here because I'm going to expand the neighborhood one more tier over, and I figure as long as we have a fence, we'll probably be able to go nice and close to the main road there. It's not like a freeway or anything, but it's just a, a fairly major thoroughfare. A, a large road, or whatever you want to call it. Putting these houses in, I think it's looking pretty good actually. I'm, I'm definitely liking where the city is going, and just taking more time and having more control over what is going in is something that's making it stand out from the last city. And actually, here is when we crossed over games, so I have some new mods in. This is the motel I made while I was out. I think it's super cool. It's meant to be sort of dingy and run down. There's like a car getting towed, food truck, busted up parking lot. I think it looks pretty good. Right here, um, you know, just kind of taking a look at what we were doing before, trying to reconfigure myself because it was I want to say like a day later uh, I wanted a smaller lane for the houses to put some like squeeze some right up between the back of the other ones and the the road these wouldn't be as nice as the ones closer to the the water would be just naturally because you have the the road noise from the highway or not the highway I was just saying it's not a highway you have the road noise from that road there uh, and then you also have to deal with the, the goings-on of that motel, which I'd assume would be pretty sketchy. And chances are the, uh, the La Costa Police Department would be there quite a lot. And each time that I add another tier, I end up having to redo the fence, which is kind of funny. But prop line tool does make it easy, handles it really well. I'm trying to see if I can squeeze in a like, little bit more housing. I'm trying to figure out what I can do there. Seriously though, like, find it makes life so easy when you're doing this kind of stuff. It's it's not even funny. Playing the game stock would be so hard. At least to, to do what I'm trying to do. And what other people are trying to do. I, for some reason, just decided all of a sudden that I hated the, the sort of sand that's around. Because it, it kind of makes no sense, so I'm trying to get rid of it the best I can. Although sometimes it causes issues. Um, we just have to see though, you know, stuff that, stuff that should be going on that isn't, or maybe it should be. Uh, trying to add sand though, again, to make that blend of the coastal road, because I want it to be sort of a, a bigger beach. And right now I'm adding in a fishing pier, which is pretty cool, and then I have to get some sort of, of footpath to it. Uh, so I decided to do a boardwalk, but being that I haven't played City Skylines in a little bit, Kind of forgetting what I need to do to make it work. <laughs> Trying to uh, get the road going there, and ultimately that ended up working pretty well. A little bit raised above the sand, not a not a big deal. Trying to smooth out some of that terrain as well. 
And then I actually have these, uh, these beach spawners, which count as parks, but they add little bits there, and they, they count as an event spawner, so it'll bring people there, you'll see people, um, enjoying the sand. And now this is where we get to my favorite part of the episode, the first construction of the apartment complex. Complexed? Okay. Uh, I'm using the terrain leveler tool to bring out sort of a cliff edge and just give a, a really flat ground. Uh, and then I'm using the straight slope and the, um, the option to snap it to the ground so that we get nice flat roads. Uh, I'm just looking for some buildings. I want a sort of big continuous feel to it. So I'm looking for the right building shape. Uh, at first I thought of having these sort of on the corners, but decided it would be hard to get something that fits in there. So I ended up taking them out right there as you can see. Just looking through, uh, I eventually found this design, which I really like. I think they look super cool like that. Um, and then I'm actually using, uh, well first off, I'm putting an alleyway in there, sort of as a, a concrete courtyard, so to speak. Uh, and then I'm putting in a, a footpath here. I forgot that updates were a thing, and I didn't know that the buildings would upgrade so fast, so I, uh, I deleted them and replaced them. Uh, I already fixed this um, by putting Plop the Growables down, which actually stops upgrades until you force it, because I want that uniform look, and I think it's super cool actually kind of morphing them there. Uh, we actually ended up having a power issue with the city, we just didn't have enough power going on. So this is something that I ended up fixing. I wanted to make a little bit more green energy, so I decided to build a wind farm. Uh, we also put some solar panels on the... It doesn't produce a whole lot of electricity there, but they're little solar panel uh, parking spots, which look really good in the apartment complex. So we're gonna build a little wind farm here, actually, which I think is pretty good. It looks pretty cool get some of that green energy going. Wanted them staggered with a little space apart. Another thing I noticed, it, which would, I mean, it would impact the industrial zone, because I noticed a lot of the industrial buildings were being deleted out of, um, like, some sort of, of transport issue. And it turns out that the the on-ramps, or the, the actual road from the overpass to the industrial zone was a one-way, and so obviously that's going to cause issues, because that's the only point of access. Uh, going back though, we made a sort of winding, uh, spindly road going over here to the wind farm with a dirt road. I wanted a little main campus for the the yard and the, the operations of the wind farm. I'm also putting in some puddles so that it doesn't look as boring. Put in some ground textures, some, some more broken earth. Uh, and now for the, the fun part, putting in a fence. I'm using the... it's actually a standard... Uh, asset from the game, a prison fence, that ends up looking good for any industrial application. I thought about putting an entire fence around the, the system, but I figured that the, it'd be kind of hard to mess with the, uh, the wind turbines, you know, so I figured the fence would just be around there. Uh, I also downloaded a ton of super cool utility trucks and construction vehicles. So placing them in, figuring this would kind of be a, a main campus or a main yard for most of whatever, I guess, La Costa power and energy, whatever it would be. Um, so if we were to copy, you know, San Diego gas and electric, well, I guess it would be La Costa gas and electric. Uh, putting in a whole bunch of different vehicles, um, some civilian, some utility, putting in a van, maybe they're servicing that, tossing in some more equipment. You know, I figured that, or one thing I've just learned is that the more you put in, the the better it looks most times with, with urban cities. And even though this isn't like downtown or anything, it still looks like, you know, it still looks like there's stuff here, like there's activity. Um, another trick I learned when doing the, the motel is stacking objects like that to make it look like there's a skid steer on the back of that flat deck. Dropping in some power lines because, you know, you gotta do that. Ends up working really well. As you can see, the updates here are, or the upgrades are screwing me over. Uh, so I just paused the game and kind of ran with it. I wanted to build a sort of cliff edge park for the apartment complex. Putting in some of these um, little park huts and stacking them together. I think it looks really good actually. 
um, gives a place to to eat or barbecue and I might go back later and put tables inside uh, of course you can't forget the kids so we're putting in some playground equipment a couple swing sets and then some barbecue grills tossing in a mixture of palms and bigger more foresty looking bushes and trees which is something as I mentioned in the beginning of the video makes it look really good having that diversity um, and again putting in these event spawners so that way we get people coming to not only the apartments but to the parks right there and I think that looks really good and I decided since there's still a high demand for uh, residential buildings why not expand the complex so I ended up making an entirely identical uh, mirrored image on the other side so now we have double the parking spaces and I figured this is probably where the tenants are gonna park right there and using the the copy and paste function of move it really saved my life here even though we plopped them but to have the the non collisions of the buildings and to be able to put them together I think it looks super cool just like that letting it build in and then pausing the game as soon as possible so we don't have the the upgrades but don't worry that's already taken care of so it won't be an issue in the next video it'll stay how I plop it uh, and again working on the pathway I want it to sort of connect all the way around so people would be able to to walk and I'm guessing there'd be some pretty good sunsets there spend some time outside enjoy the weather putting in that fence you know so nobody falls off that would be a massive liability and tossing him some more palm trees and seriously this is the my like it's easily my favorite part of the city right now because of the detail and the realism aspect I think it looks amazing using that uh, the dirt path texture going in and drawing it in around the benches and stuff uh, but still leaving some grass uh, another thing speaking of grass um, between those those cuts in the the two videos as you can see use some uh, sprite deleters but anyway we're at the end of the video let me know what you think hopefully you guys are excited for episode 3 and we got some cinematics coming up but hope you guys enjoy see you guys later